Howdy, I'm Gary, Dillon Precision's Human Manual, here to bring you some tech tips on the RL1100 Progressive Reloading Machine. Adjusting the swage backup die for a rifle cartridge requires just a couple of simple steps. First, you're going to pull the handle down. Second, you have the die body, and basically it's just a threaded hole. Thread this die into the tool head at the swage station until it touches the shell plate. Then back it up, maybe a quarter turn, just enough so it doesn't impact the top of the shell plate. Finger tighten the die lock ring. Now, inside of this is an, a rod that's going to hold the case down so that the swage rod pushing up doesn't push the case up through the shell plate. And it also has a little step machined in it to help expand the case neck to a uniform inside diameter. So what we're going to do, just drop that in, lift the handle up, take the locator pin out, piece of size D-prime brass, pull the handle down. With your fingers, screw it down until you feel it stop. Lift up on the handle, turn it down about one half turn, and tighten your lock rings under a load. That makes sure that this rod is centered in the case. So now we're opening up the top of the neck to a uniform inside diameter, putting a little step in there so that bullets will drop easier, and holding the case down so that the swage rod swages out the primer pocket and doesn't push the case up through the shell plate. 